Welcome to the midweek uh, edition of Joy News Interactive with me, Mapisa Sibidi, live from Digital Address GA0992539, Kukamemle Accra. This is Joy News Interactive, and you can watch the show on DSTV Channel 421, Go TV Channel 144, YouTube, My Joy Online TV, and on Facebook and Twitter, we are Joy News on TV. All roads lead to the bridal fair tomorrow. And now, so it's time to choose your bridesmaids, but how many should you have? Firstly, you're thinking of Bestie from primary school, and then the Bestie from SHS, and not forgetting Bestie from university. And did I mention your cousin and your colleague who turned out to be your best friend? Also, your sister in law. So by the end of the day, you have like 15 bridesmaids. So what do you do? You can ask whomever you want to be a bridesmaid and there are no set rules for how many you want to have. But we asked you how many bridesmaids or groomsmen are ideal. To me today, I think that um, more than uh, three, three will be okay and very moderate. When we have three women on this side for the bride and three for the groom, uh, I don't think it's bad because uh, we are trying to modernize a little bit from the archaic one of one on one. One uh, girl, uh, maybe one man for the groom and one female for the bride. That one is the olden one, but we try to modernize. So three, three will not be bad. But going to the extreme of six, I don't think it's important. It's just for, uh, you know, uh, putting a lot of money into something that is not worthwhile. That, that's all. So to me, three, three will be the most moderate or will be the, uh, the better one for choice. Uh, one is okay. One for the man and then one for the woman is okay because it's going to cut down the cost. So let me chip in my two cent opinion here. I've got a sister, so how many bridesmaids am I going to have? I'll just take my sister, she'll be my maid of honor, and that's it. I'm not going to complicate my life, but let's see what you guys have been saying on Facebook. And Mama Sarah says, none. Okay, you know, that's a good choice. Uh, Felix Bill says, 10 each is not bad, bad at all. So I'm asking Felix Bill, do you have the money to sponsor their dresses and their uh, suits? But Kwame and Shira, and Shira says, 50 to 100 is okay. So you know what, we're going to assume that he's just making a joke because 50 or 100 bridesmaids or groomsmen is really not ideal. But Barry Okai says, none. Me and hubby is enough. Oh, lovely. And Ad Adam says, two and a half. Okay, so who's the half? Uh, Mama Sarah says, none. Okay, and Felix Bo says, 10 of each is not bad at all. Let's see if we can get more of your comments on that. So keep your comments coming on how many bridesmaids or groomsmen are ideal. And we're still talking bride, uh, joy, beauty, and bridal fair. So now you can meet singles near you, find love online. Hey, it's so easy to find love nowadays. Click of a button, Facebook, Twitter, and pretty much interesting dating sites. So as I was preparing for the show, I decided to check out some dating sites in Accra. And wow. I found some interesting ones. So there's something for everyone. We want to know your opinion on dating sites. How would I ever have to look for a lover on a dating site? You know, the dating site, they put a lot of pictures there, but they are what they are not. You, you understand? So you can't look at the picture on the dating site, I think a person is good. No, so I cannot make such a choice because it's all about faking. You would no, because I don't know the person. I haven't seen the person in, in like physical like this. We just talk on phone. We can do a lot on phone. And then I don't, I don't think dating on um, uh, social media or something is the best. No, no. They are not rare. Sometimes men, they will come and put a lady's picture on the, on the Facebook or Messenger or, some, or WhatsApp or something, something. So if you are not careful you go with them later you realize that they have been duping you dating sites you know personal opinion once again you can find love 
anywhere and it's okay. Nobody's going to judge you. It's your relationship at the end of the day. But let's see what you guys have been saying on Facebook. And Amos says, of course, yes. If we can school and get certificates online, do businesses online, do research and many more uh, online, then it's not out of place to find true love online. What is important is to get to meet each other and do your background checks on each other and you're good to go okay so those opposing to this question are hypocrites don't mind them they will hide and seek pa kwesi says on live uh, on online love pa in as much as the internet is filled with a chunk of fraudsters there are a chunk of fake lovers hence i won't fall in love online So let's see more of your comments on that. And at Peter Banner says, never say never. Love can be found everywhere, regardless the place and the time. It will up to you to decide if you're going to fall in love with someone online or not. But remember, because of fraudulent acts of people online that's making things worse for the good ones to fall in love in this our era. And from Pong Manso says, it happens pretty often. But for me, it would be a very risky terrain to, to trade. Most of such online relationships don't end anyway. And Raphael says, finding love has no geographical definition. Where one finds love does not really matter. What matters is how well you both can take your time and study yourselves. So you can find love anywhere and everywhere. But pretty boy Selassie says, oh gosh. Hell no, not even getting to know the person one-on-one -on -one is like hell fire. Not to talk of social media. The relationship will explode. Boom! Social media, cra these days is full of slay kings and queens. And by Jeremiah says, I will not because I will never make mistakes to find love online. The probability that she will vanish from you uh, through that same online is certain. And Rachel Osei Owusu says, the true love uh, matters. The love matters, not where you'll meet. So if my is at somewhere and it's through social media, then we'll be so. So let it be so. Okay. So some interesting comments there on our Facebook page, Join News on TV, about dating sites. Again, you can find love anywhere and it's okay. So yesterday, France and Belgium, the first semi-final, Russia 2018. Everybody was excited. France, you know what, made me proud, personally made me proud. And of course, the Twitter streets have been just going crazy. Let's see what you guys have been saying about France. Uh, uh, let's see if we can get those tweets for you right about now. And at Swanee ANP says, best of luck. Come on, Croatia. Okay, so this is referring to today's game, England versus Croatia. Hashtag, it's coming home, apparently. And uh, so this is England and Croatia tweets. And at Cruz Rocker says, haven't had butterflies like this since my wedding day. Hashtag, three lions. Hashtag, England. Hashtag, World Cup. Hashtag, it's coming home. So let's uh, see. Okay, uh, so a Facebook comment there that's okay you can go to facebook join news on tv and twitter join news on tv so that was some croatia and england uh, tweets but let me take you back to yesterday and let's see what you guys have been saying about the belgium france game and belgium was trending uh, for obvious reasons and Ashwin Rabi 99 says now Belgium bows out it's time to be back to back the winner of England versus Croatia however stopping France would be a Herculean okay task okay like Hercules Hercules yeah so like so like like Hercules Hercules I'm sure you've everyone has watched that animation right yeah 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 all right at uh, Sean underscore M underscore Maggie says hot luck Belgium you've been amazing throughout this hashtag World Cup 2018 but congrats to France getting all the way to final I'm sure you guys will party hard tonight hope that England can do the same tomorrow and at Wittengam says the French played well and had a a deserved 
uh, victory over Belgium. And at Schelling 50 says, France deserves to win the World Cup. They had the most difficult route to the final. Knocked out Argentina, Uruguay, and now Belgium. On the other hand, England had the easiest route, Colombia and World James OFC. At Sefer Osami says, this is football. Belgium still deserves it. At footy goal 11 says, what an amazing game the France, uh, the France versus Belgium one was. Quality everywhere with barely anything between the sides. The minor details were always going to end up deciding the game. And at temp, uh, uh, his says, France played senior man football against Belgium yesterday. Had the Belgians in the exact position they wanted them. It'll still be 1-0 if the game were uh, still on till today. So, England versus Croatia. Watch this. No reason, but I know that England, they are very good, they have a good team, so they will win. And then I'm sure that England and Belgium will be at the finals. Oh, I think Croatia, because Croatia, they get more experience than England, and they know how to play the football when it comes to uh, styles and other stuff. So I think Croatia will win. Um, I'll go for um, Croatia, because um, they've improved through the group stages more than um, England. I think Croatia will win um, because they have a stronger squad and then I'm a personal favorite of Croatia so I think I, um, I'll tip them to win over England. Yeah. So that was you guys, you know, you guys were pr uh, predicting England versus Croatia. Apparently it's coming home and there'll be a hurricane. That's the weather forecast for tonight. Hurricane. If you know, you know. If you don't know, it's okay. Uh, let's go to England tweets at Cruise Rocker says, I haven't had butterflies like this since my wedding day. Hashtag three lines. Hashtag England. Hashtag it's coming home. And at Sims Slaymon says, it's my birthday, so it's definitely coming home. Hashtag three lines, hashtag England, hashtag World Cup, hashtag it's coming home. And at Ronnie Mark 93 says, we might never get a game like this again in our lifetime. Seize the opportunity at England. Give everything and make the whole nation proud. Hashtag England, hashtag it's coming home. And at a Peter Palm says, hashtag three, the three lines will hopefully be on top form tonight. Unleash lads, hashtag England, let's have it. And at Alastair Agata says, hashtag England, uh, good luck to, at Gareth Southgate. And the lads tonight approves by applying the technical art of football. A new future in English football has begun. And the eradication of old, outdated, doctrines and at Carlo underscore taken says I've got my pick to win the hashtag World Cup let's go England let's go and at Ria says I have never been so nervous in my whole life hurry hurry 7 p.m. hashtag England hashtag come on boys and as, as you can see the three lines there All right, at Penta Group Limited says, good luck to the hashtag England team tonight from all of us at Pantera Group. And it's the three lines there. All right, so it's England versus Croatia. Let's see what you guys are saying about Croatia. And best of luck. Come on, Croatia. And that's from Swanee ANP. And at Mercy Police says, going to watch the England versus Croatia match tonight. Have a good time, but don't forget to look after yourself, your friends, and your possessions. Hashtag drink less, enjoy more. And at Sata Fata says, Croatia hashtag 2018 FIFA World Cup. My favorite team, hashtag Croatia. 
And at Bush Baby 18, 11, 93 says, can't believe we're watching England in the semi-finals in Croatia tonight. Bring it home, boys. And at V, Jude says, the three lines haven't been spectacular, but efficient so far. I see them getting past Croatia tonight. At Phantom underscore V says, I wish Croatia or France will be World Cup champions. And shut up, boy, shut up, B, boy. Uh, yay, Croatia all the way. Hashtag FIFA on Sony Live. And at JD double double uh, R J R says, let's stop pretending that England have a chance today. I won't even watch the game. Three, no, Croatia. And you know, you can listen to live commentary of that game on your favorite radio station, Joy 99.7. On that note, we're going to take a quick breather. When we come back, Spikey comes with TikTok. Stay tuned. Thank mm -hmm. you.